in this next presentation we're going to be looking at 3d distortion and i want to show you basically how i created this at over 33,000, and people fear that any loosening of the restrictions on social distancing may lead to a further spike in infections. So, how did I do that? Did I just point the camera at the TV and record it? No. So, let's go through how I actually did it. <coughs> so, in this tutorial, I'm going to be using Magic's Movie Edit Pro, uh, Magic's Movie Studio. Uh, 2025 suite again and we're going to go into the um pick up the video that we've got done so i'm going to click on there i'm going to find the video which is on the desktop and i've made a folder called tv okay so i'm going to put it in there now in here if i click play i've just filmed the tv don't worry, i'm not bothered about the lighting and everything else this is for this pure purpose, this uh, demonstration, we're just concentrating on the 3D distortion. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring that TV down into there. Uh, and what it's doing is it's saying that the uh, movie resolution is different from the timeline. So we're going to adjust the timeline to the film resolution. Okay, now what I want to do, I want to put the marker anywhere there and I want to save this as an image. So I'm going to click on File, Export Movie um, as a PNG, which I've already done here, actually, in the folder. So all I would do is click on a, a, a PNG, send it to wherever you wanted to, which I did earlier. So this is it here. So this is what I did earlier on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drag that image down there, and it will. I'm, I'm going to delete the actual video itself. And now we have an image. Okay, so I'm going to make that image just a little bit longer. And now I want to add a video, which we're going to overlay onto that TV um, via the 3D distortion. So we're going to pick up the video, which is in any video will do. Um, let's just find a video. My videos. There. And there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to overlay this video. Now it's asking me to adjust, which I'm not going to do, so I'm going to click on Do Not Adjust. Okay, so now as you can see, it's going to play the bottom row, as I said earlier on. It's going to play the bottom row. Okay, so now let's go into Effects. Okay, and we want to make sure we're on the View, and view Animation Effects. So if it's dropped down, just look for it and click on it and open it up. And now we want to click on 3D distortion. Okay. Now we're in here. <clears throat> I'm just going to do a simple drag just for now by grabbing all the these corners here and just roughly dragging them to where I want them. Like that. Just roughly for now. Just do a rough. And then I'm going to click on this here and click into maximize the monitor so I can see where exactly where I want them. So I'm now I'm going to drag this into there, tidy up properly, and then I'm going to drag this down to that there. And this one I'm going to drag to there. This one I'm going to drag to there. And just one final check on this one. There it is. There. And again, remove this one down just a touch. So once you've finalised it all, and you're happy with it, that's it. That's how you do it. So now, I'm going to come out there. Um, I'm going to cut this, delete that, don't need it anymore. Uh, I'm going to make sure that the image is the same length as the video. So let's shift that out of the way. I'm going to drag this so it's the same length. Then I'm going to highlight both of them, fade them out, 
and fade them in. I'm going to go right to the beginning of the video and play it. So that is the 3D distortion effect on Magic's movie studio 2025 suite. So once you finally once you finally finished your video and you're happy with it, just export it as, as I showed you in the previous one. So click file, export movie, and I'm going to click on as an MPEG4. Now this, if you remember correctly, let me just have a quick look. Yeah, <clears throat> the original video was um, taken in 4K, which is this, this the train one here. That was taken in. I, I did that in 4K. Okay. So what I want to do, I want to, I want to, uh, I want to convert that to uh, 1080. So I'm just going to drop this down. I'm going to find 1920 by 1080. Keep the same frame rate um, and the resolution. And then I'm going to um, just call it uh, distortion. And I'm going to pick on where I want to save it. So I'm going to click on there, desktop, and I'm going to put it in the TV folder, which would make sense. Save that. And then we're just going to click on export and it will uh, render it down to uh, 1920 by 1080. And it'll play it. So I think you would agree that that was fairly simple to overlay something using 3D distortion and that's it for this uh, demonstration.